Today on Ballistic Burgers, I'm going to be resurrecting yet another hamburger, the Club Burger from Carol's all over the East Coast. Let's get going. Carol's was a hamburger joint that opened in 1960. They had locations all over the Eastern States. They were kind of pushed out by the big guys like McDonald's and Burger King. And eventually they closed in like 1975. The owner of Carol's uh, kind of made a deal with Burger King. The locations that did not close actually became Burger King. So he partnered with them. The burger I'm going to be making today, the Club Burger, came out in 1960. And many people say that McDonald's ripped them off for the Big Mac. So let me know your thoughts after you see this burger uh, in the comments below. We're going to kick it off with making a sauce. Start out with some mayonnaise. This is uh, called a royal sauce, Crisbo royal sauce. And I, I don't know if, I guess it's available in the market or it used to be. I don't know. I've never heard of it. A lot of the information, this was actually a difficult burger for me to recreate just because even though it was a very popular location and I mean 1960 to 1975, it, uh, there wasn't a whole lot of information on there. And, and a lot of the burger pictures I saw, there was inconsistencies as far as how they were assembled, you know, the, where the lettuce was and stuff like that. I think I did pretty good. I found a forum where a former employee kind of chimed in on the way they assembled their burgers. So I'm, this is, I'm basing it off of that. With some ketchup, obviously. Some sweet pickle relish. We're just going to add a little garlic powder, and this will be to taste. Give it a mix. It's more or less, you know, Thousand Island dressing. Tastes good. Tastes like Thousand Island dressing. So the next thing we're going to do is make club level for It's a triple layer bun like uh, McDonald's has. Um, so McDonald's Big Mac was introduced in 1967. This burger was introduced in 1960. So like I said, maybe it's just a coincidence. Um, when I'm looking for buns, when I'm going to do something like this, I try to find a thick bottom bun. But I had a hell of a time on this one. So I'm going to do what I can. It's I'm just going to more or less shave the brown off, the crust off. So a lot of times I can, I get lucky and I find, you know, that nice kind of a thick, but not yesterday. I went shopping yesterday for the ingredients on this. And I think that's as good as it's going to get. I don't want to poke a hole in this thing. Now I'm going to make one of the two burger patties. I already made the first and I'm basing mine my patty on the thickness that I saw in all the photos. I'm guessing they're probably using two ounces, three ounces, maybe. Uh, but I always base the thickness of or the width of my burgers on the bun that I have. So I'm using this is a four and a quarter diameter um, ring. It's a baking ring, stainless steel. I get these on Amazon. They are awesome. Then what I did was I made that first patty. After I, it looked the way I wanted it to look, I waited and I ended up with three ounces of, of beef. This is 80-20, so I'm just gonna put it in the ring and mash it edge to edge. And I have it down on a parchment and I'm gonna show you what I like to do when I'm making a patty like this. Because I'm gonna pull the ring off and now it has these little kind of little walls, little berms that popped up on the whole outer edge of the burger patty. And also you got my fingerprints in there, little divots. So I take a second piece of parchment and lay that on top. Take my uh, spatula and I just flatten it out. This is going to do uh, two things. It's going, well, three things actually. It's going to get rid of those little, like I said, those little berms that popped up. It's going to make a nice flat patty. So we're going to get a better sear more uniform sear and it's going to just increase the diameter very slightly but you know you want that burger the raw patty to be just a hair bigger than than the bun 
And there we are, and I'll show you what it looks like. So, you know, I have a very thin, very unified, you know, it looks like it came out of a machine. Well, let's cook. So I'm using a kettle grill today. I've got my Ballistic Mojo griddle here. Again, hearkening back to when YouTube was a wonderful place. I have charcoal just around the rim here, about halfway. Don't have any over here, so that way I have zones. First thing I'm going to do is get a little toast on these buns. All the forums said, you know, a light toast on the bun, so that's what I'm going to do. That back over here, Get those patties down, put your salt. These are such thin patties, I am only going to salt that one side. It's going to be a fast cook. All right, I'm going to get these over here on the cool side. Start assembling this burger here. Okay, that bottom bun, that first patty down. And I'm gonna lay down some finely chopped onions, similar to the way McDonald's does theirs. Some dill pickle. Just a little bit of that sauce. Now that club level bun in the middle there and a little sliced lettuce, and this is coarsely sliced, I guess. It's not shredded thinly like, you know, McDonald's does. Some American cheese, a second patty. Gonna go with some sauce and a little bit more than we put on that first application there. Then the top bun. Nice. I present the Club Burger from Carol's. Extinct, but brought back to life right now. So you can totally see why many would accuse McDonald's of totally ripping them off. I mean, it looks a lot like a Big Mac. And again, you know, things like putting the cheese on uh, without melting the cheese on the grill. It smells good. It smells like it smells like a Big Mac. I mean, you know, when you're smelling a Big Mac, you can actually smell the lettuce and the onions and everything, but then that sauce. Mm. I know the Big Mac is like 1.7 ounces, really small, but you know, close to two. Good burger. I mean, just a nice, fresh, easy, clean burger. This is good. Thanks for stopping by and this was a request, so keep those requests coming in, they help. This was an old request, so eventually I'd get to them. Like I said, this one presented, as easy as a burger as it was, it was presented some challenges, just mainly with how the burger was assembled, the burger, not burglar, mainly with how the burger was assembled. Um, but it's good, try it. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.